Thayer Munford ended up getting the start because of an injury to one of the tackles. And today we're going to break down his tape. A lot of really, really good reps, some bad reps. Let's jump right into it with this first play right here. Thayer Munford does a great job with Foster Moreau, absolutely crushing number 93. Easily Munford's biggest asset is his strength. Now in this play, because it's a double team block, Munford's really going to just try to stand up number 93, make sure he makes good contact. You can see those hands come out. He locks in with number 93. And then Foster Moreau absolutely crushes number 93. That's a really nice job right there. Not a bad rep. Opens up a nice lane for Josh Jacobs to pick up four yards. Let's get into the next play. In my opinion, Munford's biggest asset is his strength and his long arms. He punches well, and he's not very consistent with it, but he does a good job when he is able to punch. This is a really, really nice job on this play. Gets those hands cocked, and he throws a nice punch. And he does use independent hands. We'll get into some of those reps a little bit later on. Although this play doesn't really show that, I do like the punch. And he does a nice job stopping that defensive end and really just shutting it down. Pretty decent job. Let's go ahead and move forward and get into some more reps. Now, Thayer Mumford obviously has a really nice reach. Obviously, it's probably his biggest asset, right? That strength, being long, being lengthy. Uh, but he does have a couple of flaws. And of course, as we kind of go through this video, we'll talk about some of those flaws. Right now, Munford does not start. The reason why is because Jermaine Illuminor is the starter for the Raiders at right tackle, assuming Colton Miller is healthy. And I think this is one of the reasons why Munford doesn't start. Now, first and foremost, there's different parts to this rep. One of the things I really like with this rep is if you watch the right leg get out, he's going to kick and he's going to get vertical. He's going to mirror number 56 and he does a great job making contact with 56. But I think the reason why he doesn't start is because he doesn't anchor down in this instance. For being so much bigger and stronger than 56, there's no reason why 56 should be able to drive you back into the quarterback, right? You got to anchor down. You got to develop that. And that's okay, All right? He's tall, so he has to develop that leverage part of it. You can see uh, the defensive end here gets that right hand right into the chest, makes contact, and uses that hand to really fork up there in Munford. Again, it's just some of those things that he's going to have to develop. Of course, being a seventh round pick, he will develop that over the course of his career. Uh, reps do help. Uh, guy gets a little close to the quarterback, not a major deal because the quarterback gets the ball out regardless. And truth be told, um, if the quarterback felt the pressure, he could always step up, right? That's a big part of playing quarterback is stepping up in the bucket. Pretty, pretty decent job with starting off the rep, just doesn't anchor down. And you'll see a couple of plays in, in pass blocking specifically where he gets in trouble a little bit. Uh, not a terrible job. Let's go and get to the next rep. One of the things that Darren Munford does really, really well is use independent hands. On this play right here, he's going to get out of his stance, use that left hand only, and then come back with the double hand punch afterwards. A lot of guys don't know how to use independent hands. Munford does. And this is one of the things that I think will translate over the course of his career. He's already flashed this a couple of times. We've broken down Munford's tape in the past too. He's definitely shown the ability to throw a one-handed strike. Keeping in mind because he's strong, a one-handed strike actually works for him. Um, and then from there, once the de defensive tackle here counters, you're going to see Munford then gets both hands on the guy. Now he does lunge a little bit, not a big, big deal. Uh, but if you lunge, you see number 93 come on that swim move right there towards the end. That right there is the way to lose, obviously, right? Again, not a major deal. This play wasn't a super long developing play. And I think Munford kind of knew that uh, based off the time that the quarterback had, the ball was probably already out. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Jumping into this next rep, understand this play actually does not count. It actually comes back because of an illegal block by one of the receivers up here. But you guys can see the result of the play. Josh Jacobs actually loses a couple of yards on this play. Now, here's the thing with this play. Thayer Munford gets beat right at the point of attack. And he has to do a better job not getting beat. Munford has a down block on number 97. So he has to make contact and seal it off. Foster Moreau gets to the inside of number 93. You got a double team block here. And of course, the right guard's going to get up to the inside of number 49. And you really eye swing this linebacker here with the fullback here. So Mumford has two things he has to do on this play. First and foremost, he has to get to number 97. And he has to get out of the way of the fullback, right? You can crush 97 downwards and the fullback will get to number 47. And on this play, Mumford does not do that. 97 crosses his face, gets into the backfield. Mumford actually falls down and the running back ends up losing yards on this play. Of course, as we mentioned, there was an illegal block in the back right there. Let me back that up so you guys can see it. You see Hollins comes and hits uh, the safety there in the back. Safety ends up falling. 
Um, but again, these are the, the small things that Mumford has to work on, right? Making contact, getting out of your stance, being explosive. He's very late out of his stance on this play. If you guys watch it in slow motion, uh, compare him to the right guard right next to him. The right guard gets out of his stance. Mumford barely is moving out of his stance. Uh, Got to be quicker out of your stance and make contact. Be physical, right? And move number 97 out of the way. Uh, not a major deal, right? Play doesn't count regardless. But we are looking at every individual rep. That being said, let's get into the next play. Really nice play right here by Thayer and Munford. He's going to do a great job double teaming down and getting back out to number 53. Nice job processing by Munford. Specifically because he understands 53 taking the wide angle here. So for Munford as he's getting vertical, he's able to help the right guard and understanding he can still get out there to make the block. Very nice play by Munford once again. Love the fact that as he gets out of his stance, if you watch his helmet, he's really looking at number 53, right? He knows where 53 is relative to the tight end. And he understands where number 93 is. He gets his head to the inside. He helps and stops that defensive tackle, but he keeps his eyes to the defensive end. And then he's able to switch back, get out to 53, and absolutely shut him down. And they keep Derek Carr very clean on this pocket. Even the tackle on the other end does a really nice job anchoring down. If you see him, he's in a true one-on-one -on -one situation with 54. Anchors down. And Derek Carr has a really nice pocket right there. That being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. There's a lot of really good reps by Thayer and Munford in run blocking. He absolutely moves people, man. Uh, when he's able to make contact effectively, he can move people. And this is a nice example of that. Gets his hands to the inside and he absolutely moves number 92. Look at that. Look at that power right there to move a guy. You know, that's not a corner or a safety that he's moving. That's a 300 plus pound defensive lineman. He's able to get his hands on him, absolutely move him. Of course, he's one of the reasons why this play picks up seven yards. It's because he's able to take his guy and move him, crush him downwards. And ultimately, that's exactly where they're running the football, right into that lane. Tight end does a nice job getting his butt towards the inside. Fullback, the fullback does a nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, just check this next play out. The Raiders are going to design this double post concept with Adams taking the deep. And the wide receiver running a short post. Really trying to get this safety to make a decision. And the Raiders are going to take their shot. They're going to keep the tight end into block. They're going to keep the running back into block. And then at the very end of this, if Derek's not able to hit the deep guy, he's going to check it off. Now here's the thing with these plays. If you watch the quarterback in his drop, the quarterback also takes seven steps. So this is designed to go deep. And you're going to see Devontae Adams even gets open towards the end of this play. He's going to hit an inside to the outside. He's open. And if Derek Carr has the time, this is a touchdown in my opinion because the other safety takes the short post. Back that up here. You see the safety here. It's going to take the short post. And I think this play right here could have potentially been a touchdown. Now you'll see the pass blocking doesn't hold up. Specifically, Thayer Munford and Foster Moreau, you can put it on both of them, aren't able to shut down the defensive tackle. Not 100% sure exactly what happens and why you don't stop this guy. Like they both kind of half man this guy. Like Mumford takes one side, the Foster Moreau takes the other side. I also understand Foster Moreau has a threat of number 53, right? So if you back this up in terms of pass protection, 53 is lined up as a potential edge player on this play. So Foster Moreau technically would be responsible for 53 first. You see that as he kind of comes out. Mumford takes on number 93 and you're going to see number 93 is going to end up getting through there and Derek Carr ends up checking it off. Now, again, if you guys watch Derek Carr in his drop back, when he first sets up, he's looking deep. He's looking at the safeties. He's reading where he's going to go with the football. And I think he feels the pressure here by number 93. Munford has to do a better job. You can't let a guy get through like that. That too. I understand Jermont Jones is a really good defensive tackle, but these are the plays and shots that the offense may not have been able to do over the course of this season. Because if it's not Munford, maybe it's Jermaine Illuminor, or maybe it's Andre James or Dylan Parham or Alex Bars or Colton Miller at different points throughout this season so far. But you got to make the block right here. It's a bad job in my opinion. Not a big deal. The Raiders still won the football game, but I did want to point this play out. Let's get into the next rep. There, Mumford has a cut block on number 54. The Raiders have a quick throw to Josh Jacobs designed. Watch him get out there, man. Bam! It's a nice job right there to get number 54 on the ground. The running back picks up four yards. That's a really, really nice, effective cut block. Absolutely love it. He's not diving helmet first. He's really trying to aim using his shoulder and his body specifically. That's a really nice job right there by Thayer Munford. This one play is all I need to know to have faith that Thayer Munford knows how to correctly cut block. 
Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Check this next play out. Third and two, the Raiders are going to have the confidence to run it behind Thayer Munford, their biggest offensive lineman they have. And that's the confidence right there that I want to see that this coaching staff shows. And that's a really nice block as well by Thayer Munford. It does a really nice job making contact with number 99. And look at the turn right there. You know, it's not a whole lot, but that right there, because Munford is able to turn his body, that's just enough of a crease right there for Josh Jacobs to be able to run it right through that lane. That's a really nice job if you ask me, and the Raiders get the first down on this play. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, Thayer Munford did give up one sack, but the play actually didn't count because it was a hold on the center, and the Broncos elected to push the Raiders back 10 yards. Let's break this play down here because uh, Munford does lose, right? And he didn't lose a lot of his reps, to be honest. I think he did a pretty good job throughout this game. But this was one of the reps he lost. And I think on this play right here, this really shows you one of the ways Munford has lost a number of times this season, right? And this might be the only way he loses, right? And that is guys attack that outside of Munford, right? They attack the outside hand. You see the, the edge player here. He's going to attack Munford's right hand. He's going to attack the outside. And I think teams have realized with a guy like Mumford, and it makes sense, right? You can look at some of the bigger tackles around the league. Orlando Brown, Trent Brown, and Mumford's another one of those examples. You know, if you're that massive, you're not going to be as quick. And that kind of holds true here with Mumford. And the defensive end here is able to just hit that outside hand, and he's able to get the sack on the quarterback. Not a major deal, but this is something he has to work on. You can't let a guy get to your edge. You got to anchor down or at the very least get out further and force this guy to have to make a different move, right? If his initial pass rushes to the outside, shut that down and make him have to hit an inside move or to do something other than just flat out speed rush and be able to hit you with a, a uh, single hand swipe and just get to the quarterback. Got to do a better job. And there's actually another play towards the end of the game, where he ends up losing in a very similar manner. We'll obviously get to that play later on. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this next play out. The Broncos are going to run a defensive line game with the two defenders here. Mumford's going to do a great job processing it. You're going to see the furthest defensive end comes to the inside, and the guy that was lined up initially to the outside shade of Mumford here is basically going to fake the pass rush inside and come directly at Mumford. He does a really good job turning his head, getting to the guy that he needs to get to, and just shutting him down. That right there is a really, really nice job. Of course, they keep the quarterback clean. And the quarterback's able to get the ball downfield and complete this pass for 20 yards. It's a really nice job right there by the entire offensive line. But Munford specifically being able to recognize and process what the defense is trying to do to him. It's a really, really nice job by Munford. Let's get to the next rep. The Raiders are running an outside zone to the left. So Munford has to reach to the inside here of the four-eyed technique defensive lineman. And he's going to do a pretty decent job on this play. He's going to do a nice job getting to the inside of that guy. And although he's not able to flip his hips to the inside and absolutely stop him, this is good enough right there, in my opinion. Now, at the end of it, the defensive lineman is able to get off the block, but you guys see that this play ends up hitting on the front side regardless. It's a pretty nice job. Do note, the Raiders have not run a lot of outside zone plays. In fact, this week may have been the first time we really saw them run a lot of these outside zone plays. Generally speaking, they're a power football team. But they've started mixing in a little bit more zone runs. So I want to be able to kind of analyze Munford and see how he's able to do on those zone runs. In college at Ohio State, they ran a lot of inside and outside zone. So it is something he's used to. Obviously, the speed changes in the NFL. A pretty nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. As we mentioned a little bit earlier on, Munford's going to make contact here with the defense bin. He doesn't anchor down once again. And 42, although he doesn't get the sack or doesn't actually touch the quarterback, does get close, right? Uh, again, not a big deal because the quarterback gets the ball out, but when Munford makes contact, he has to learn to anchor. Uh, you can't let your guy make contact and then push you back the way Munford gets pushed back here. All right, you can't do that. You got to anchor down. You got to let your quarterback feel like it's going to be a clean pocket. Not a bad job, but not a great job in my opinion. Uh, these are things that rookie, or being a rookie, he will develop over the course of his career. Uh, and this is one of the things he's going to have to continue to work on. The Raiders are going to design a deep pass on this play. They're going to take their shot, which means the offensive line has to hold up. At the same time, because of the slide and based off of how the defensive front looks, Thayer Munford's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation here with number 93, Dermot Jones. And Thayer Munford does a great job on this play. Absolute beautiful rep right here. If there's a rep you want to watch to say this is how it should be done, this one is it. 
Great job getting out of his stand. Super explosive. Gets out there quickly. 45 degree set. Makes contact with one hand. Right left hand first. Bam. Throw that punch. You're going to see that Dermont Jones is going to try to swipe that hand down. And, they bring, and then at the same time, Munford brings that second hand right there. That's a really nice job. I love the fact that once Dermont Jones makes his initial move, it doesn't work. I love the fact that Munford takes his hands off to readjust his hands, comes back with another punch, and just absolutely shuts it down. That's a great job right there by Thayer Munford. Absolutely nice job. Exciting. That right there is a really nice rep. Um, love it. The offensive line, generally speaking, does a good job. You bring five guys. The O-line obviously keeps the tight end and running back to block. So you got seven guys blocking. Derek does a nice job stepping up. Just isn't able to connect. Not a big deal because you get the penalty regardless, which gives you an automatic first down. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You got an outside zone play here to the left of your screen. Montford does a great job moving number 99. Absolutely nice job right there by Thayer and Munford. This play right here goes for seven yards. Obviously, the running back doesn't run it to the outside. He's going to end up ending up bending it back to the inside. Look at number 72. Absolutely get out of his stance. Super explosive. Uh, did he jump? Possibly. Uh, obviously, he's going to go based off when the quarterback says hut. Really nice job timing it out of his stance. He's able to uh, do a good job as well getting to the inside here of number 97. The offense line has been doing a really good job in my opinion. Alrighty guys, a couple plays left and we're gonna wrap this video up here. Uh, first and seven, the Raiders are cooking. They may be able to win the football game here. You're gonna see Thayer Munford is gonna actually get beat. And it's the same way that he's lost, I would say, maybe five or six times over the course of this season. You're gonna see 53 attack the outside of Munford. He's gonna give him a hezzy move and you see he gets to the quarterback. And what I mean by that when I say he's gonna give him a hezzy move, is 53 is going to fake to the inside right there. And Munford's going to fall for that fake. And from that point, Munford's just not able to make up. You see 53 attacks the outside hand. Munford's not able to get out there. And it's a speed rush basically to the outside. And that guy's able to get to the quarterback. Now think about it. He literally has the quarterback wrapped up. He could have knocked the ball out. The ball could have popped up how it kind of did and maybe gets intercepted. Either way, this is an absolute terrible rep. And other than his sack, it's probably the worst rep that I saw on tape by Munford. Let's go ahead and get into a couple more reps. You know, there's a reason why the Broncos were putting their defense events in a wide nine stance, really getting them out wide, because they understand that Munford's just not able to get out there right now. Again, more reps, working on his technique, those type of things are going to help out. Keep in mind, this was third and seven, just two plays after that first down hit he allowed on Derek. And on this play, he gets beat once again to the outside. And this time, Derek steps up. But because Derek steps up, he steps right into pressure from the inside. Josh Jacobs misses his block here. Dylan Parham kind of gets pushed back by Jermont Jones there. And really, there's nowhere to go for Derek. And the ball kind of just falls short. But these moments do matter. Thayer Munford has to get better in certain spots. Overall, I do like what the rookie has shown on tape so far. As you guys see, this is the final play of the game. Devontae Adams scores a touchdown in overtime. Um, but overall, right, I think Darren Munford definitely has a lot of potential, but he needs to continue to develop. Uh, speed, he has to get better at. He has some technique issues. He is powerful. He is strong. He is lengthy. So he has a lot of physical traits that I think will allow him to, over time, develop into a starting caliber football player. But at the moment, it is very clear that he is not ready to be a full-time starter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up. I always appreciate it. And make sure to leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.